find my uh verify that my plate my plate here was good enough to spec all good um i got my m10 my 150 gauge here go no go always check my hold here's the go This is the go. Morning, nice and fun. Go flip it over. Check the go, uh, the no go. As you see, it takes about almost a whole thread, maybe a half thread to a whole thread. There's the no go. Um, going to get one of our freshly patched bolts, put my block back in to the hole, um, what I have here is a, it's a 50 foot pound torque wrench. And what we do is we seat the bolt to 20 foot pounds before we start any of the actual torquing. We just seat the bolt to 20 foot pounds. That's what I'm going to do in here. Watch me seat at the 20. My bolt's been seated to 20 foot pounds. Um, what I do from there is uh, it's the 360 degree chart right here. So I make the mark on my bolt with a silver sharpie. I just put a little small dot, put a little small dot right where zero is on my chart. Done there. Grab my Newton meters torque wrench. Um, this is the process we do. Um, three different criteria we have to meet. The first one is uh, we have to meet the angle, which is the first four cycles: the 60 Newton meters, 70 Newton meters, 80, and 90. That has to meet a certain angle that um, adds itself up down here, which is at least 1.1. And um, I'll go ahead and do that first criteria now. Wrench is set on 60, locked. Just gonna pull until it clicks. Actually, from my experience, that wasn't too bad of a number for 60 newton meters. It was 15, but. Every now and then you get a strong bolt and sometimes you get a real weak one. It's just random. So I'm going to set my wrench on 70 here. Because that's the next step to go up. I got about 23 on that one. On my second on 70, I got about 23 degrees. I'm leaving so, it do you want to sign off this thing pick or do you want me to have? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I got my wrench set on 80 here. Please. My wrench set on 80 here. I'm going to go ahead and torque at 80 newton meters. The degree we got is about 29. We got about 29 on um, 80 newton meters. So now I'm going to take it to 90 Newton meters. Let's see what degree I get from there. I'll get it. Sorry. Oh, that's a little bit too high. Let's go back to 90. 
Uh, didn't move a whole lot. Moved to about 31 degrees on 90 newton meters. So we met the first criteria, which is the angle. The angle has to be at least 1.1 down here, and we got 1.742. We met the first criteria of meeting the angle of at least 1.1. So now we're going to go ahead and move on up to 100 newton meters and see where we can go from there. That was 90. Got it set on 100 newton meters. Didn't move a whole lot there, neither. About 34 degrees I got on 100 newton meters. Gonna move it on up to 105 newton meters. As you can see, barely moved, barely stretched at all. I would call it 34 again. And this here, uh, this is a part of the second criteria. The second criteria here, we have to meet at least 110 newton meters before the bolt stretches. If the bolt doesn't make it to at least 110 newton meters before stretching, that's another uh, way that, you can, that the bolt fails. That's the second criteria that it has to meet. So it passed 110, I mean 105, I apologize. I'm gonna put it on 110 here. To be honest, like I said, it seems like a pretty tough bolt. Not all of them are like this. We got a lucky one. That one barely stretched. It's probably at about 38 degrees, but at 110 newton meters. I'm gonna set it on 115 newton meters. See where I go with it. Barely stretched at all. It's at about 40 degrees at 115 newton meters. Gonna move on up to 120 newton meters. Barely stretch it all again. Yeah, probably 41 degrees I got on that at 120 newton meters. Now I'm gonna put my wrench back on 125 newton meters which is almost all the way through. And really, from there, I would stop because if I go any further, it's just gonna stretch it and break the head off. I mean, I, I possibly could have went a little bit more, but we already passed all the criteria we needed to make. We made it all the way up to 125 newton meters. Stop, it's a passing bolt. Um, the third criteria I was telling you uh, that you have to meet on this is all 13 bolts have to average out at at least, um, I believe, 115 newton meters for the whole batch to pass. So there's three criteria. The one is the first four cycles have to meet a certain angle of at least 1.1 down here, which is your angle. The second criteria is the bolt has to meet at least 110 newton meters before stretching or failing, or else it will fail if it don't meet at least 110. The third criteria is once you get all 13 pieces to pass, you have to average out the number between the 13 pieces and the average number has to meet at least 115 newton meters. That's the third criteria. If all those go well, then you got a batch that's passed.